Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Uh, but, that, but, that, but that could also be the business. Okay, okay. All right, let me get a fan something. Yeah, because you, you did a you th you threw a dope ass lob to Trey. <laughs> Can't clickbait. So, we <laughs> so the reality the reality is I I am I am the most I I have so much empathy. Man, I have so much empathy for the fans, bro. Because you were sold and told a story that did not continue, guys, in the way that it was sold and told to me that it would continue. So you have every right to be hitting me up at every airport, every bus stop, every whole And I know you well, too. It, it almost bothered me to ask this question, but I know that they want us all, so I'm asking for them. So it, so it, I know that y'all don't, you have to ask me. Sometimes I'm like, damn, is Courtney fielding these questions today? Is Star, you know, are the execs and stars, or is Curtis fielding these questions? And for real, it just be, I feel like it's just me fielding these questions because I'm with y'all in this sense. I'm with you in the sense that the way the story was sold and told to me is not befitting of the way it ended, guys. So y'all have every right to be like, it didn't end right. And because we don't honor our fans enough. And I know me, Matt, and Trey are different. We honor y'all. We honor our fans, man. We often forget that the fans are being sold and told a story that has a genesis and that it has to end the way that it was sold. And because it wasn't, y'all have every right to be upset and go, so therefore, thusly henceforth, ghosts cannot be kaput because it didn't end the way that we started the show. But had it ended the way that we started the show, then I think you guys would be extremely satisfied with the art, the beautiful freaking art that the show was. It should exist in museums. You should be able to forever have conversations about the show. And this was everybody's uncle. Ghost James, Ghost, Ghost was, whether James, whether Jamie or Ghost, he was everybody's uncle who was more importantly trying to go right from going wrong. And I loved him, and I always will love him, but I just want y'all as fans to always remember, I played the guy, so I'm a little bit bigger than him. So it's better to follow me than a character. There you go. Wow, man, hey man, check it, man, it's your boy. Man, listen, ECEO, I'm in the building. I'm really, really tripping off of how um, Amari Hardwick is, uh, you know, he took this panel, man, with Matt Barnes, and, you know, this here is something to where it's going to continue to come up, man. I mean, I love the series when Ghost was in there, but I also love the other series that, that 50 is doing, too. Something I always say, you know, a lot of times, a lot of people don't know when something is going to end or has to end or have ran its course. The one thing I commend 50 on is knowing how to pull off of something when he feel like it's time and however it had to happen. My biggest problem in owning businesses for all these years was trying to hold on to something that really wasn't gonna end right for me if I hadn't ended the way I wanted to end it. So I give him big ups for that, you know. Uh, it couldn't have been easy on 50 because it was still a hot uh, commodity. When you seen Ghost on there, you know, of course, you know, you got all these guys on there running the show, and it was it, it had a hell of a start, and it, it's a hell of a kick. But what he's doing with the channel now, and with, well, with the series now that he's doing, uh, he ain't holding back either. So he just got some dope writers and stuff too. But I get it, Mario Hardwick. He he basically he loved that set, and I get it because he killed that set. And I ain't gonna lie, if it come on tomorrow, I'm watching it. New series pop up tomorrow, everybody watching because it, it was dope. But like I said, again, I just love the way 50 ended it because I'm telling you, a lot of times we don't control that end. We go by what the masses and everybody's looking like, oh man, they love it, they love it. But you gotta know how to stop something and start it and keep it to where you're controlling the narrative. A lot of times people don't know how to do that. Both of these dope actors, they ain't going nowhere. They look like us, man, we all in the same gang when it come down to trying to keep things going, man. I commend Matt Barnes for putting this panel together. 
I mean, you got to understand, man, I always look forward to stuff like this, man. Brothers getting out here exercising the things that they loved and did. You know, of course, people going to ask him about it. That character, not only that character, other characters, too, if you play great parts, man. So give it up to, you know, everything these guys done together collectively. So I just like the way that they, the, the way that they keep bringing it up. And I think every time it comes up, it's going to be an issue. 50 has something to say. Let me see if I, if I saved it. 50 says, uh, 50 Cent, looking eyes, this ninja is a strange bird. The freak. <laughs> is he talking about? I never done nothing but look out for him. If he needed something, I gave it to him. I understand now, you know, whatever, it don't matter, you know. And then, he, you know, he basically tagged people, man, tagged them. But I, I get it, man, you know, you're not going to be able to satisfy every situation. 50 is a real, real busy businessman. The only difference between 50 and Tyler Perry is 50 is going to say something back. That's just who he is. He's not going to play with you. He going to always speak his mind. That's what I love about 50 Cent. I'm going to always continue to support him. I like the way he's, you know, he going to always fire back if it's on Twitter. Whatever the case may be, he's not going to let you make it. And he's the type of dude he ain't. It don't matter who he's had. Anybody speak vocally against or what something he's doing. The one thing I love about him is the way his get back is. It keeps things entertaining. This internet world we live in is different now. And I'm just loving the way that people are, you know, the back and forth is cool. Um, you know, like I said, 50 has, man, he's birthed a lot of great acts. And I think, I mean, when that, when that boy uh, Amari was playing Ghost, man, this guy, James, this dude, really killed that character and certain characters you sit in and when you sit in that character it's just dope and i can tell you empire was coming on during that time too and i really wasn't interested in empire i was totally into that ghost thing and i was totally into 50 them and they killed that first i don't think it'll be another one as good as that one uh the, the new one's cool but i just like the the grown man style that they were rocking with but at the end of the day, I understand things have to change. And I love the fact that 50 was able to understand that as well. I think that's that's the cold part about it is that 50 was able to grasp that, understand that and really kick it and make that thing happen to where, hey, I'm controlling the narrative. We move it on to something else. And that's it. It is what it is. And I think that's the part you got to you got to understand, man. Like I said, I've seen this. I had to speak on it because I was like, man, I love the way these dudes here, they vibe out the way this whole, you know, th these are all successful brothers, man. And I always want to keep that in mind. You know, these guys are doing things that people of color never had the opportunity to do back in the days. So to see these guys actually following through, doing things, controlling different things, uh, shout out to Tyler Perry, uh, shout out to uh, Lee Daniels, uh, any of those guys, man, that was able to, you know, break the mold, man. These guys, Dame Dash, I give him his kudos as well. Um, there's a lot of them, man. We the Oprah Winfrey, like people are doing things, man. And I'm so proud of our people, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you support what Boss Talk is doing. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Share my stuff because if you don't share it, then a lot of times they shut my channel off and I don't get to see as many people as I would like. But I love everybody that's been rocking with Boss Talk 101. Hey, some dope interviews coming up this week, y'all. Get ready. I've been working, man. It's going down. Boss Talk 101 with a boss's talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.